Bill Gates has recently suggested that AI could reduce the work week to two to three days. Do you see this as a realistic prediction? I think it's, uh, I have a similar prediction, uh, which is, uh, you know, I don't know what's the exact number. Is it two or three days? But I remember when I was a kid growing up uh, in India, my parents used to work um, on Saturdays. So they had a six day week. My generation has a five day week. Um, and and that six to five day wasn't driven by huge increases in productivity because of technology it just so happened. But now AI has the ability to deliver huge increases in productivity. We haven't seen such huge increases in productivity in, in a long time. We last saw it, you know, with industrialization and those kinds of things, but AI can deliver that. And if so, then, then I think, you know, we have to do a couple things. One is, uh, yeah, give people more time off to pursue their interests. But also, we don't want a situation where 20, 30% of the workforce is working six days a week and the remaining 70% of the workforce is un unemployed. And so we also want to balance that out a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, do you think that these changes will impact also income and purpose and how people feel about work in general? Because there's, I mean, obviously those changes are very fast. They're happening very fast. And there, sure, there, there will surely be an impact on society or let's, let's call it the working society. How do you see that happening? Yeah, look, I think it's going to have a huge impact on income, uh, work and so on. So if you look at Ma Maslow's hierarchy, initially we are focused on, uh, you know, physiological safety uh, types of needs and food, shelter, security and so on. But once we have this, we start to then look at love, belonging, growth, intellectual and personal growth, self-actualization and things like that. I think as AI can help us create a world of abundance through increased productivity, through freeing up a lot of time while keeping the same levels of output and therefore income, um, we can get to a world where we are moving up the Maslow's hierarchy more towards, you know, these things like love, belonging, self-esteem, uh, growth, self-actualization and things like that. So I feel that's where we are headed. Now, for that to happen, it has to be the case that the value created by AI has to be evenly distributed and which is not a given. I think the way one thing that's almost surely going to happen is that uh, AI is going to shift more and more surplus away from labor to capital. So labor's ability to negotiate and negotiate higher wages goes down when you have a attractive alternative that's cheaper and that's AI. And so that places uh, pressure on uh, income and wage. Simultaneously, generally productivity increase comes with an increase in wage. So you have this twin effect where increase in productivity means every hour of work we do is worth more, so wages should go up. But at the same time, we're competing with AI um, for whenever displacement can happen and AIs will be much cheaper, which places a pressure on the wage as well. So there are both these effects, but either way value is getting created and that value is getting created uh, mostly for capital, much more than for labor. And so one of the things regulators will need to focus on is how do we make sure the value that gets created is not locked among a few owners of capital and it somehow gets evenly distributed.